David William Konka ambaye tumekuwa naye tangu jana na leo yuko hapa asante sana Maheshimiwa Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr John Pombe Joseph Magafuli Maheshimiwa Waziri wa Mambo ya Nje na Ushirikiano wa Afrika ya uh, Mashariki uh, Professor Palamagamba Kabudi Maheshimiwa Waziri wa Uwekazaji uh, Professor Katila Mukumbo Maheshimiwa Waziri wa Madini Dr Piteko Maheshimiwa Gavana wa Banki ya Tanzania Professor Florence uh, Luoga Maheshimiwa Mko Mko wa Mkoa wa Kagera Brigadier General Marco Gaguti Maheshimiwa uh, 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 when you get Kitty uh, El Elza Nickel, Chris von Christensen, uh, Maheshmiwa uh, Matandaji, wa Elza Nickel, uh, uh, Chris Shewalta, Mawaziri Wengini, Mliopo Hapa, Viongozi Wadini, Viongozi Wajami, Mabibi Namabwana, Itifaki, Imezingatiwa. Uh, lakini uh, lakini uh, kama mlivyo siko sikia uh, kiswahili chango sio kizuri sana uh, kwa hivyo uh, nina omba sasa uh, niendelee kuzungumza uh, kwa kiingereza Mr President it is an honor to be here with you today to witness this landmark signing ceremony Mheshimiwa Rais ni heshima kubwa kwangu kuwepo hapa leo na kushuhudia and I, and I thank and congratulate you and your government for their role uh, in progressing the negotiations which made today's event possible. And I want to commend uh, Chris von Christensen and his team for their part uh, and also uh, the Honourable Professor Kabudi uh, for, for his team. I, I think, Mr. President, that your team of negotiators lived up to your instruction of Hapakazi 2. Napenda pia kushukuru ukupongeza uongozi wa LZ Nikeli, lakini pia Professor Kabudi na timu ya majaliano ya serikali. Na fahamu mwishmwa rais kwa amba timu ya majaliano ya serikali ilifuata kwa umakini mailekezo yako. And I am, of course, uh, immensely proud uh, that this project involves a British company with an international shareholder base. Um, uh, but Mr. President, I was disappointed to hear that uh, Professor uh, Kabudi dropped chemistry in Form 2. Uh, and I'm, I'm pleased, uh, Mr. President, that you and I had the foresight to continue to study chemistry, and we are both trained in science. And I think, therefore, we have uh, a good uh, understanding of why uh, the properties of nickel and cobalt make them so important in today's world. <laughs> And as iron, iron powered the first wave of the Industrial Revolution at the end of the 18th century, so it is metals like nickel and cobalt that are proving so vital to the technologies of the 21st century. Uh, and so this is the right project at the right time in the right place. The UK government believes new mining and refining projects should meet the highest standards and deliver value locally. 
miradi ya uchimbaji wa madini lazima ifanyike kwa viwango vya juu na kuongeza thamani ya madini hayo ndani ya nchi husika I'm pleased to see therefore that this is an equitable partnership uh, and that to limit environmental and negative social impacts the project will use state of the art refining technology and will be powered by hydroelectric energy. Hivyo ninayo furaha kubwa kuona kwamba mradi huu ambao umejikita kwenye ushirika wenye usawa kwa pande zote utatumia E, teknolojia ambayo itakuwa na madhara madogo sana kwa mazingira lakini pia utakuwa na manufaa makubwa ya kijamii um, and i am also pleased that this project involves such high caliber and experienced experts be in absolutely no doubt that in LZ Nickel you have an absolutely first class team of professionals who have the credentials and the networks to get this project done and done in line with your strategic vision for the economy Mr President. Eh na furaha pia kwamba hii kampuni ya LZ Nickel inao wataalamu wenye ujuzi mkubwa ambao wanaweza kufanya kazi kwa viwango vya juu kuendana na dira yako Mheshimiwa Rais. And as we've already heard what is really exciting about this project is that it involves not just mining but also refining the metal ores. Lakini pia kinachofurahisha zaidi ni kwamba mradi huu sio tu unahusisha uchimbaji wa madini lakini pia unahusisha usafishaji wa madini. And in, in simple terms that means more jobs in Tanzania and it means more of the value of the minerals going to the coffers of the Tanzanian government. Na hii ina maana kwamba kutatengenezwa ajira nyingi sana hapa nchini lakini pia kutakuwa na kipato kikubwa kwa serikali ya Tanzania. Mr President, in your inaugural speech for your second presidential term, you set out your vision for economic development. You were clear that you want the economy to grow at an annual rate of 8% and generate 8 million jobs. Wakati ukianza kipindi chako cha uongozi mheshimiwa rais ulieleza kwamba dira yako ni kutaka uchumi ukue kwa asilimia nane, lakini pia kutengeneza ajira kiasi cha milioni nane. And you have been clear too Mr President that investment investment both foreign and domestic uh, will be crucial to achieving those targets. Eh lakini pia uwekezaji ndio ambao utaweza kuleta mafanikio kwenye mwelekeo huo. And both you Mr President and the honorable uh, Professor Katilem Kumbu Mkumbo have recently been underlining this by setting out a number of investment reforms that you would like to see to boost jobs and growth. E, na kwa ushirikiano na waziri wako e, profesa Mkumbo ninaona kwamba kuna mwelekeo wa kuendelea kuvutia wawekezaji wengi kwa sekta madini. Uh, I believe uh, the UK believes that the agreement signed today will further signal in a very positive way your government's intent to harness to harness the private sector to fulfill your vision for investment led growth and jobs. Ninaamini lakini pia serikali ya Uingereza inaamini kwamba kwa kusaini makubaliano haya leo yatasaidia sana serikali yako kufikia azima ya kuitumia sekta binafsi katika kuchangia dira ya taifa hasa kwa kuongeza ukuaji wa uchumi lakini pia kutengeneza ajira mpya. UK businesses and investors already account for around 5% of tax revenues in Tanzania. Um, and as British High Commissioner here I am proud of that contribution to the nation's finances. Yes. Biashara za uwekezaji kutoka Uingereza e, zinachangia kama asilimia tano ya mapato ya kodi nchini Tanzania na balozi wa Uingereza e, amesema hapa kwamba e, taifa lake litaendelea e, and I believe the British wa Uingereza kwamba e, taifa litaendelea kuchangia taifa Uingereza litaendelea kuchangia zaidi kwenye pato la taifa nchini Tanzania and I believe the British businesses and British investors and those who work with them are among the very best in the world for quality performance integrity and fairness and uh, on the uh, topic of greed i would point out that i believe british investors british companies have extremely well disciplined appetites uh, and they want 
to do a good job for the countries that they work in as well as for their shareholders. E, ninaamini kwamba wawekezaji kutoka Uingereza ni kati ya wawekezaji ambao ni wa viwango vya juu kabisa vya ubora na uaminifu. Na pia nina uhakika kwamba watapenda kuwekeza na kutengeneza ajira mpya. Lakini pia kusaidia kuongeza mapato ya kikodi nchini Tanzania na hasa kwa kuangalia dira ya mheshimiwa rais ambayo inatana achieve as business and investment partners and i wish this project every success and i stand ready to support it in my capacity as british high commissioner mheshimiwa rais ningependa kuhitimisha kwa kushukuru sana kwa kunialika kuwa sehemu ya tukio hili na ninawapongeza wote ambao wameshiriki katika mchakato wa makubaliano haya na kusaini mkataba huu lakini pia ni hii ni fursa kwa serikali ya Tanzania na Uingereza kuendelea kufanya kazi kwa pamoja katika uwekezaji. Ninatakia kiaraheri eh, mradi huu ambao